It's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Thursday, and today is sort of a good news, bad news sort of day. You know how I said in yesterday's video that I was so frustrated with these rounds that went for 54 stitches on the head of the peacock that I'm making? Well, the good news is I finished the head. I'm down to 18 stitches for the neck. The bad news is, once I'm done with the neck, it goes up to 70 stitches for the body. Yep. And where did I put the... Okay, there it is. The bad news was my daughter messaged me and said that the other grandma had plans for today, so I don't get, get to go over and visit. The good news is they will also be home tomorrow, so I can go see her then. So today I'm going to stay home and work on stuff. On Tuesday, I didn't finish up any stingrays, so I made up for it yesterday. From the leftover yarn from the elephant kit. I made a gray two yellow and two pink. So I will take a picture of all of the stingrays and put it over there so you can see how many I have done because I don't want to I don't want to dump out the bucket and Get it all. Yeah. Okay, another good news, bad news thing. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be home all day. Let's make one of those spinning wheels where the wheel chooses something for you. Usually it's to pick a winner in a drawing. Well, I put the tasks that I would like to accomplish today onto the wheel. Spin the wheel. The first one it gave me was probably the longest one on the list. Update my bottle sling listing. I have bottle slings that I take to craft shows and I have them in my Etsy shop. I have 33 of them. So I tried to get like little pictures, you know, three or four of them in a, sh in a shot and then um, put in a description so I know which is which. So I went through and I cut up all these little tags. I think I put them all away. Little like inch by inch tags. And I gave each bottle sling a number like Y1 for the first yellow one. I have 10 yellow ones. So like Y1, Y2, Y3, O1, O2, R1 for red, R2. I got them all photographed. I edited the pictures so that the descriptor is right over each bottle sling. Like Y1 is over bottle sling Y1. Updated all the variations. It probably took me two hours to do that one task. I'm afraid to spin the wheel and see what it wants me to do next. So I made banana bread. There were three bananas in the kitchen that really needed to be used up. So I avoided doing all of my internet and chores tests and I made banana bread. Let's see, what else was good news, bad news today? Um, well, good news is I did cross one other thing off my project list. I made a little pink possum last night, patterned by Yarns and Nobles. But finishing this up meant I added update possum listing to my list. And I was looking over, you know, just scrolling through Facebook, another avoidance technique, and I saw this cute pattern. It had all these little safety cones in all different colors. And I clicked through thinking it was a free pattern, and it wasn't. It cost three bucks. It's like, I can figure that out. I didn't have orange up on my chair. I had, I had red, so I made a little red safety cone. Last night, 
I got down to the decreases on the head. I'm like, okay, I got to put those eyes on and sew on the beak before, before I get too far into the decreases because it's, it's tough sewing stuff on and putting the safety eye backing on and all that when you've only got like 18 stitches at the neck. But it's like, I don't know where I put the eyes. And I'm all settled in my chair. And I don't want to go anywhere <laughs> looking for the eyes. So that's what I made the possum and the safety cone because those colors were right next to my chair within reach. Uh, I can get so like worn out in the evening. Like <laughs> I don't want to do anything. Okay, today's a better day. I did get a good night's sleep, so trying to hit the ground running and get stuff done. Um, let's see what else. I could just ask the computer what else is left on my list, but I'm afraid of doing that. Oh, I have to update my blog. I need to sew a patch on a chicken bag. I have to type up some notes. I can cross off update bottle sling. Yes. Update the Mercury listing, renew Etsy listings. I haven't renewed listings in a long time. I have probably a dozen listings that I need to update. Um, I found the peacock eyes and I got the peacock also. And type, okay. Not that much left to do. I can get it done. But, you know, right now I don't really want to get into a really big task because the banana bread's in the oven. And once I hear the timer, I have to go get it out of the oven and have one to make sure they're okay. Yeah. I sort of followed the recipe, sort of didn't. There was this one time when my husband was cleaning out the pantry because of an issue with a mouse. And he's like, you have these, box, these boxes of baker's chocolate in there. What do you do with this stuff? And I said, well, you either melt it to make other stuff or you can like grate it. He goes, it says unsweetened. Said, yeah, it's, it's, it's unsweetened. It's so a lot of times when I make banana bread, I will scoop out half of it into the muffins for him. And then the other half, I'll add some chocolate chips to it. And those are for me because he doesn't care for really sweet stuff. Not that the chocolate chips add all that much sweetness, but so this one time, you know, he said, you know, You've got to use up this baker's chocolate. This has been in there for a long time. So I took a couple squares of the baker's chocolate and I grated it up really fine. Added that to the banana bread. So it was like chocolate banana bread without big chunks of chocolate. He loved it. So today I finished off the first of the two boxes of baker's chocolate. So, okay, cross that off. I also finished off all the gluten-free flour. So... I'm not doing any more baking until I get out shopping. So I will be working on the peacock today and probably get back to the laptop and type some stuff up, try to catch up on things. And I need to make my stingray of the day. Yep. Lyra's birthday is coming up quickly. If I take a picture for you guys showing all these stingrays, the one I go to her house tomorrow, and if she mentions the stingrays, I could say, see, you know, grandma's making, Grammy's making stingrays for your party. See how many I've got done? It seemed like there was something else in the good news, bad news. I'm sorry. I, I could tell you a story from yesterday. Okay. My husband was outside trimming bushes. I could hear the electric... Um, hedge trimmer and zzz, 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 as he's trimming the bushes and I'm just sitting in my chair and I was watching a movie I had run out of the YouTube the crochet youtubers that I usually watch so I was watching a movie and I thought since it was by chicken soup for the soul TV this was going to be like light, happy, you know, it was a mystery, but I thought it was going to, you know, be 
pretty light. Oh man, it was, it, it had a psycho character in it. This, the governor's widow, and she was just deceitful and lying and just pure evil. Oh, so while I'm watching that movie, I hear a, someone's knocking at the kitchen door. That means that someone came into the garage, which is usually locked. But since my husband was working outside, he left the door unlocked so he could go in and out. And then I hear the door open and a voice say, just me. I didn't recognize the voice. <laughs> I'm trying to like put down my phone and put down my water bottle and get the crocheting out of my lap and get the, the recliner is electric. So I got to press the button. Get, and I go out to the kitchen. There's a strange man standing in my kitchen, putting a basket with cookies and other goodies onto my table. And he looks at me and he's just like, isn't this the Ryan house? I'm like, no, <laughs> what are you doing in my house? And he's like, um, I, I, I was dropping this off for the Ryans. They're, they're going through a hard time and I wanted to give them a, a little basket of goodies. And they told me to just come in through the garage and leave it on the kitchen table. I'm like, this isn't the Ryan house. And he said their first names. I'm like, oh, they're, they're down the ro road, like five or six houses. And he's like, oh, I really thought this was the house. <laughs> and he picks up his basket, walks out. <laughs> and I went running after him and locked the garage door. <laughs> and told my husband, you're coming in the other way because <laughs> the garage door is going to be locked. I, the best I can figure is he's a longtime friend of the Ryans, but he hasn't been to their house in a long time. And he's just like, oh yeah, you know, big, big maple tree next to the driveway. This is it. Well, ours is a brick ranch and theirs is a two story with siding. And there's, there's a lot of differences. It's like six houses down the road. <laughs> just why is there a strange man in my kitchen? But especially when I was watching a scary movie, like ah, the evil governor's wife is here. <laughs> All is well. All is well. Um, that was really a rabbit trail, wasn't it? This yarn is calling to me. To make an elephant but I really should finish up some of my August projects first so that's it probably about time to go get the banana bread out of the oven and let me know mr. computer choose my next next task to do so I'll be back tomorrow let you know how much progress the computer and I made on my list and if we've had any more strange men <laughs> walking into the kitchen. Oh, my husband's still joking about it. Um, you know, I told him, I went outside and told him out of the porch where he could hear me, told him the whole story. So he was out mowing the backyard and he knocked on the kitchen door when he came in. And he goes, I'm here with a package for the Ryans. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't. Okay. Bye-bye.